What's up, explainers? In today's video, we're gonna talk about strategies you can use right before hitting that stage. I talked about ways of decreasing your stage fright or your FOPs, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about getting you ready for the stage right before you go on. These five tips are gonna help you feel more relaxed and more courageous so that you can conquer the stage at your best. Step number one, I want you to take a power pose. What does that mean? You can do the Wonder Woman pose or you can do the boss pose, whatever makes you feel powerful and like you've got this because you know what, you do. Find your power pose and stick with it. And I want you to hold this pose for two minutes do this right before you go on stage. It can be in the morning of your talk or your speech, or it can be right before you get on stage. But just be sure to keep that power pose up for two minutes. Step number two, I want you to hydrate. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. H2O is your friend. Make sure you do this well in advance. We're talking about something like two hours beforehand so you don't have to take a time out, if you know what I mean, um, and run off stage for that bio break. No, 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 no. So make sure you do this well in advance of your talk. Stay hydrated, folks. All right, step number three. I want you to try some sort of meditating or yoga or some breathing exercises because this will help lower your stress. It's super important to remember to breathe. Just breathe in and breathe out. It's as simple as that, but just remember to do it because sometimes when we get nervous and all caught up in the moment, we totally forget that we need to breathe. My next step, number four, I want you to avoid stimulants such as coffee, tea, other libations. You don't necessarily want to be caffeinated when you're upstage because it's not going to give you the energy you want. You're already nervous. So you don't want any extra type of stimulation in your system that's gonna botch your speech or your talk. So just stick to water. And step number five, as soon as you get on stage, take a moment to look at people in the audience. I want you to try and make eye contact, eye contact with seven people in the audience. Look at them as individuals, right? Don't look at them as your mortal enemies. These are people who are here to listen to you. They know that you have something to offer them. They know that you have value to add. So don't treat them as foes, treat them as friends and make eye contact. You wanna establish a connection with people in the audience. Suddenly, it doesn't seem so scary after all. This audience is not out to get you. They're not gonna throw tomatoes at you. They're there to listen to you. Make sure that you establish rapport with them when you get right on stage before you start talking. So explorers, let me know in the comments below what other types of communication questions you have that I can answer in videos like these. And be sure to share this with friends who are interested in improving their communication and public speaking skills. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos on communicating around the world and strategies you can use to conquer your communication. Happy exploring and I'll see you in my next video right here on YouTube.